<laughs> Yo, what is up, everybody? Uh, I almost forgot to turn my mic on. What is up, everybody? We are here today with more Ed. Yes, 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 yes. It is the boxer, the new school boxer that is, re, quote unquote, I don't really think he's actually replacing Dudley, but he is part of Neo Shadowloo. And we're going to be watching his, we're going to be listening to his theme today and looking at his character guide, Street Fighter VI. Uh, now, I, like I said, I liked. Ed's secondary costume more than his first, which I'm assuming a lot of people did as well. The hairstyle, eh. he's supposed to be an edgelord according to his bio. Uh, so um, let's listen to his theme first. It's called, uh, I believe it's Koenig Older, Koenig Older Feigling. Is that like, is that Dutch? Is that German? Uh, apparently... Listen to Ed's theme from Street Fighter Six, which reflects the struggle he must face to be a king or a coward. I don't know exactly what they're trying to allude to because I'm assuming he's supposed to play an important part in the story. So let's go ahead and look <clears throat> because I don't know exactly what the heck they're on about about that. Um, but apparently, it's it's obviously a story telling right here. So let's look at the listen. To, let's listen to the theme, and hopefully, uh, I will turn on the audio of the song. And hopefully his theme is good, as I have not listened to it yet, and it, it should be good, hopefully. Oh, he's got words in his, it must be a rap. Ich bin nicht allein, doch fühle mich einsam. Bin 0,0 mit meinen Gefühlen im Einklang. Seh mich nachher, wollt doch fürchte das Scheitern. Ich tanz auf der Party, doch eigentlich würde ich gern heimfahren. Himmel hoch, jauch, bin zum Tode betrübt. Ich hätte gerne Sonne, doch der Mond, der genügt. Nur weil ich über exzellente Strophen verfügt, heißt das lange nicht, dass mein Herz sich nicht wohl anfühlt. Und ich weiß ehrlich selber nicht, woher das kommt. Auch am helllichten Tage sehe ich alles sehr verschwommen, als hätte man mir irgendwann einmal den Kern entnommen. Ich bin zu lang durch dieses tief schwarze Meer geschwommen. Ich fühle mich wie ein Freak, nicht gegen die Welt, sondern gegen mich selbst Führe ich den Krieg, mich pack dieses kalte, leere Gefühl nach nem Sieg Egal, was ich erreichen mag, genügen wird's nie Doch ich kämpf weiter, mein Herz, mein Weg, weil sei der Selbstzweifler in mir Mein ständiger Begleiter, doch ich leb weiter Aufhören ist keine Option, bekämpfe die eigenen Dämonen und besteige den Thron Es sieht sich wie roter Faden durch mein Leben Große Taten, wenig reden, denn der Tod erwartet nämlich jeden Muss der Thron Angst entgegentreten Ooh, the bass. Krankenhaus, isn't that like a uh, Kartenhaus? Oh no, no, I thought it was Krankenhaus, because Krankenhaus is hospital. Der Druck steigt, nur gefragt, wo die Luft bleibt Blut, Schweiß und Tränen, schimmern leise im Moonlight Braucht nicht mal eine Sekunde, nur ein Bruchteil Glaub nicht an gut oder böse, wer ist schon schuldfrei So focus hier alles in Slow Motion Jeder sehen wie Ameisen aus hier von hoch oben Zerleg sie im Kopf, dreht sie im hohen Bogen Durch die Galaxie, weg auf dem Weg I don't, I don't know what he's saying, but hey, I'll tell you this right now The wordplay's gotta be immaculate on this motherfucker It's gotta be Um Boden der Tatsachen I think his might be the first song to have lyrics in it. First theme. Nach einer kurzen Glückssträhne folgen die Rückschläge, weil so viele dich fallen sehen wollen wie Hyänen. Sie trauen sich nicht zu träumen, rauben dir deine Freude. Sie haben tägliche Leben vor Augen, wie sie es vergeuden. Doch nicht mal einen Tag würde ich tauschen mit diesen Leuten. Sie fühlen sich sehr dämlich, auch wenn sie es verleugnen. Lacht ruhig, ich hab einen Traum, der mir was bedeutet. Los, Junge, schau mir in die Augen. Siehst du, sie leuchten, blink, blink. Ich folg meinem Instinkt, so call me the Kingpin. Trag heute mir in drin, dein Motto. Ich verdickte 
gebe nix, Tipps aus der Sporttasche. Klick, klick, Papier und Stift wurden zur Mordwaffe. In jeder Seele steckt ein König und ein Feigling. Du musst dich entscheiden, bist du heute Löwe oder Schweinchen? Werde ich mich von den Zwängen in mir lösen, bis ich frei bin? Oder höre ich auf die Chöre, die nur nörgeln, an mir zweifeln? Und ja, zu wem erfolgt der Zwang? Hallo, 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 hallo. That was that was I like that three different three different rhymes with the same rhyme at the end. That's that's pretty nice. Hey, that's pretty nice. His rhyme scheme is pretty lit, bro. I'm not gonna lie. You doing you doing that damn thing? You doing the damn thing? Okay. That is lit. If I had some lyrics, it'd be. Wait, is there closed captions? Wait. In the closed caption. And the captions are in German. I wonder if I get it'll if it'll auto translate correctly. Das ist It's not it's not consistent enough. Um it's not I, I like it. I like it. Uh Oh, is this the lyrics? Okay, yeah. Um I would I would definitely will read all of this, but uh this is not me deciphering rap. This is not I don't have a music channel dedicated to rap and we're not going to go through all that. Um but I will definitely listen to this. I'll read this on another time because I'm not going to bore you guys reading this. But so far, I like it. It sounds dope. Uh pretty cool that he got lyrics. Quick trivia from a German from a German if you have if you would have told me that Blumio of all people would work on Street Fighter in the future, I would have called you insane. Hearing him on this track is actually what? It says absolutely pleasant surprise. Who's Blumio? Sounds like a really cool person. Blumio. Blumio. Rapper. Born in Deutschland? Denver? What is, not Denver. Um, what is the name of that? Not Deutschland. What's the name of... The, is it Denver? I think it is Denver. Is D.E. Denver? Living in Japan. Ms. Blumio. Uh, I'm a Japanese rapper, born and raised in Germany. And uh, oh. yeah. This time for street for the new Street Fighter 6, I made the theme song for the character. He must so he speaks, I'm assuming off rip three languages. Dude's talented. Hey, that's cool. That's what's up. That's dope. Alright. Uh, I would definitely look at these. I'm gonna read these lyrics later. So with that being said, let's go ahead and look at this character guy. Let's see what uh Brock I almost said Brock. Why did that name come to my uh, anywho? Uh let's go and see what Ed is cooking up for Street Fighter 6. Hopefully we get some more boxers because like I said, as a practitioner, I love this world. It's, it's pretty dope. The fighting style is cool. Super cool. All right. Let's check it out. Yo, Ed, like any traditional boxer, uses like quick flurry to punches alongside slower but long reach and quicker attacks. It was light, medium, heavy for the punches. Oh, shoot. The punch button performs easy, easy to use close range attacks, while the kick button performs quicker punches that can hit an opponent from a distance. Okay, cool. So, punch, punch, punch. Flick, flick, flick. Gotcha. A variety of target combos are available from Ed's flicker punches, giving you easy options to pilot the damage even from a distance. Yeah, having a distancing kind of boxer is kind of weird because unless your arms are naturally long, uh, it's just a weird concept. But uh, 
doesn't matter to me. Just here for Ed. Even if an opponent stands out, out of your out of your regular flicker attack range, you can use Cycle Flicker, a special move that covers even more ground to control the ground game. You can also use Cycle Knuckle to close the gap in a hurry. Let's check that out again. It's a flicker. Hmm, reach is starting. You can hit high and low, okay. Cycle Crusher. So I'm assuming Flicker and Crusher are a dig. I'm assuming those are designated by the same but, uh, input, but except you got light for for the high, medium for the low, and then the heavy version for the Psycho, uh, Psycho Knuckle. That's what I'm assuming. I could be wrong, but that's just my assumption for now. So you do like Cordal Circle back, Flicker, Flicker, and then Knuckle. Cycle score. Close range point that generates a ball of cycle power. Good for close range combos or to cancel out. I was not done reading that. Cancel out an opponent incoming projectile. Okay. Projectile. This here is a wicked downward punch cloaked in cycle power. Even if it is blocked, they'll have a hard time landing a hard counter attack. So when you're throwing out normal attacks, then that that leave you wide open. Cancel them with this. Hmm. You can do safely. You can do un so. You're saying you can. You're saying I can do uh, unsafe strings and cancel into cycle spark. Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. There's a badass move called Psycho Shoot that will send that sends a power flying to change up the speed using different colors. Keep them honest. Can I delay it? Can is it delayable? How many frames is it delayable? That's my question. It's like psycho power. Is it like? Psycho, psycho spark, shoot! Like, that'd be nice. Like, you can spark, shoot! You like, spark, shoot! Like, that'd be nice. See if they try to, like, you know, say, if they try to throw something, you know? Or they try to get you, I don't know. I think on occasion, psycho spark, you can cancel out any projectile, you can send it you can out and tell you. Any projectile? Are we including OD? Let's, let's go back. Okay, is she gonna do EX? No, she only did a regular version. Okay. Overdrive, both the cycle spark and shoot become two hit attacks. Okay. Still losing the guile. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Still losing the guile. I don't think anybody is beating guile in the five world war. Like O O O D uh Sonic Forgot the name. O D Sonic uh Blade into O D Sonic Boom. Yeah, nobody's beating. Four hits, unless you're using like a super. So, not even, not even Ryu's beaten. So you know if you try to charge, oh shoot! Oh, the camera died. Okay, let me go get a battery. See, this is why we got extra batteries, guys. This is why we got extra batteries. See, we prepared for this. We're prepared for this. One second. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. That's why we got extra batteries. We we smart. Smart. I can't prepare it this time. Can't extra prepare it. Yeah, I know what to do. Yeah. See, I told you guys this is. I told you guys this is gonna happen. Yeah, eventually it did happen. It's okay though. That. Boom. Do that. And then we'll come over here. Because I gotta reset the camera. And we're back. There we go. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. Because I can't I can't control the battery life on the camera, so I didn't get four extra batteries. So And yes, the other batteries are charged. I'm not that type of person to just like leave batteries around uncharged. Like who does that? You must be a menace. Um Aside from that, uh, yes, uh, the over, so, so Sonic Blade, OD Sonic Blade into OD Sonic, uh, uh, into, to be, pretty much Sonic Cross, OD Sonic Cross, uh, now I'm pretty sure Charged Ryu should be able to, hi, Charged Ryu should be able to beat this, um, I think the Dingen Charge into Hadoken, but, I'm pretty sure they might be the only two. I don't know what I don't know about uh, Dalsum, and I don't think anybody.
anybody else has one. I know it's going to go over juries because jury has a low projectile, projectile, which is super unique in this game. So. Oh, it travels at a certain speed. That must be. Oh, you can change the speed depending on the shoot button you use. Hard, ca hard to counter, easy to use in combos. Cycle Spark is going to be your go to attack. Uppercut, okay. Hey! I like how he's got, he's got his guard up here. I'm pro I think we went over this before that his guard is supposed to, like, I don't wish you'd calm down. Hey, his guard, so most people understand that there is there are certain certain stances in boxing, and I'm learning this. So uh, you got your orthodox. It's 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 not mirrored. Um, so this is I'm on my left side, right? Leading with my left. This is orthodox, southpaw, and then what he's doing. I don't know which which way you're gonna, supposed to do this, but you got the Philly shell, right? And his is supposed to be the Philly shell, or or whichever one you wanna you wanna do it, right? Parry with this hand. You can block the, the midsection with this hand. Still guarding up here, right? You it, and say if you're like, you can use this to guard here as well. So it's supposed to be the Philly show. Does it translate that well? Nah. Would it look better on Steve and Tekken? Probably. Uh, it wouldn't look weird though, because he'd be approaching like this. So <laughs> he'd be he'd be approaching like this. So um, like I said, the concept we understand what what you're going for, but um. It's just a little weird. So, uh, so Psycho Uppercut. Unleash a powerful uppercut cloaked in Psycho Power, useful for countering opponents' uh, jumping attacks. Or a way to close out combos. Okay. Now, let's hope before... I know he's doing the move. Let's hope, like, in, like, Third Strike, how, like, you know, Ken... Even Ken in this game, he can, like, juggle with two two sh Shoryukens. And Dudley can juggle with, like, uh, an extra, like, uppercut after his, like, uh, jet uppercut. Super, like... It, it, let's be honest. Getting hit with a flying uppercut more than once, in, and it's in a combo, that's kind of a flex. So, And it looks like he doesn't have a flying uppercut. Now that I notice, like, a Shoryuken is a flying uppercut, because they're flying in the air. It's not a regular uppercut. A, uppercut, a regular uppercut, that I believe, is like uh, Ken's regular H, so he just goes like this. That's a regular uppercut. So, The light version unleashes a mean uppercut in place, while the medium and heavy versions move forward first before unleashing the next. Oh, so you can reach your opponent in a way. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty nice. This attacks invincibility. This attacks invincible against mid-air attacks, so use it as a welcome parent when somebody gets too close, too jumpy with you. Just to rem just remember that some versions move you forward, so adjust accordingly. Okay. Hit them where they're hit them where they're high enough, and you'll get a chance to land another attack before they kiss the dirt. Please do a cycle uppercut into a cycle uppercut. Oh no. A flicker combo. Okay, hey, you can do it too. I'm pretty sure that was a light into medium version. Looks like he looks looks like the medium version. Overdrive. Hit him with a smoke. Hit him. Oh, mm, mm. Let's read it first. Hit him with a smoking uppercut that's invincible to their attacks, then bring them crashing down. Pretty sick, right? What do you mean invincible? Invincible to what? Like invincible startup? Okay. It goes through projectiles. This attack takes some time to come out, so I wouldn't try this as a try to and snipe an opponent's quick attacks with it. But if they screw up and are wide open after an attack, hit them hard with this. So you cannot wake up with this. Um, I'm gonna assume this is like, the invincibility on startup doesn't start to like what, maybe three, frame, frame three, four? Three, four, or five, that's what I'm assuming. I could be wrong. Cycle Blitz! Unleashes a combination of punches cloaked in cycle power, useful when canceling into normals, uh, from normals, or as a way to close out combo. Three drabs into a six, I believe. That's like an uppercut. This is your classic triple fury. The medium and heavy version is knocked down an opponent. Give you a chance to fold him like a bad poker hand. So you get to set up Oki. That's what they're implying.
Oh, the first one starts with a short. Oh no, it starts with a up, uppercut jab into a straight. So he went uppercut jab straight. So so that's a yeah. That's that's pretty lit. That's pretty lit. Okay. And then this one looks like the medium version, which he did like four jabs into into an uppercut. And then that one is, wait, what? Okay. One, so he did a one, two. Wait, wait, wait. Look like two threes. Two threes, so th I'm pretty sure the three, three is the hook, right? It's, it look like one, three, five, and then a downward spike, punt, spiking punch. One, three, five. So one, so one is jab, one is your jab. So one, a three for the hook, which it looked like he got it for the mix section. Five, I'm assuming is an uppercut. Five, and then smacking him down with a punch. That's pretty, that's pretty nice, that's pretty dope. This is best used to end combos to make sure it connects. When, when this attack is blocked, it leaves you open, which is something all good balkers want to avoid. Facts, because if your guard ain't up, you're getting boxed. And for those who don't understand, I because I recently found this out, boxing is not an aggressive martial art. It is not an aggressive martial art. It is a, it, my bad, it is not an offensive, sorry. It is not an offensive martial art. It is an aggressive defensive martial art. Because a lot of the time you're working on your footwork, you're working on dodging, parrying, and blocking. It is a aggressive defensive martial art. It is not an offensive martial art. Offensive would mostly be like uh, Muay Thai, kickboxing, Taekwondo. Those would be offensive martial arts. Okay, so uh, th this is aggressive defense, which works. It works. So. Get the hit confirm into it. Pepper them with pepper them. Who says that? What does pepper them mean? Pepper them with a series like. Like, like salt bay type? Like, I don't know. So, pepper them with a series of body blows, sending them into the air with an uppercut. The opponent can't freely counterattack even if they block it, so it's hella good. Hey. Let's do that one time. It look like. Oh, it's safe. A lot. I almost forgot the best part. You're gonna be, be dealing some saucy damage, damage if this hits. So if you see an opening going, it just sucks that I'm noticing a lot of his moves. Like some of them, you really can't actually like. He seems like an Oki guy, the guy to set you up and do counterplay. Like he looks, he looks like the counter puncher archetype of boxing. That's what he looks like. I would say, uh, I, I would definitely say that. Uh, Balrog was the slugger. Dudley seems to be like, uh, it's a specific name for it. And it's like the offensive punch is one is constantly hitting you and you're having problems trying to get in. And it seems like that, uh, Ed is the counter puncher, counter puncher. Yeah. Cause a slugger, they'll take hits. They don't care. He's just gonna, he's, but he's gonna, it's gonna hurt when he hits you. And then I think Dudley is the guy who's constantly, he's the, I can't remember the exact name, like the, I think it's the offensive puncher or something like that, where he's constantly hitting you and you're trying to figure out how to get in. And you can't because all you're seeing is punches coming your way. So I think he's the counter puncher. That's what it looks like his, his boxing archetype is. Because he also has a sway as well. I think that might be Steve from Tekken as well. Psycho Flicker. A quick flicker jab poked in Psycho Power, hold down the button to boost its attack properties. What do you mean? Wait, what do you mean by that? Hold on. Or cancel into Kill Rush. The button you press for this attack determines the traje attack trajectory. Light shoots straight out, medium nips the feet. As I said, heavy shoots up die. Okay. Only and only hits airborne opponents. So if you're not airborne. Only airborne, and it pushes them back. Okay. Hold down the button to go in a charge stance. Oh! Let go of the attack and hold down. And that, and that does what? Mm, that 
ground bounce. Oh, I love that. Oh, yes, sir. I love that. But the thing is, you have to wait a second for it to charge. So, in a way, he has a charge move. That's kind of weird because you can actually... I wonder if you can attack while charging that. Because if you can, technically, you could do a setup. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you could have, like... You could be holding it down and then, like, doing other buttons. But you have to hold this one down so you can actually set up to, like, do, do like, something that will knock him knock them back. And then grab them and pull them back to you and get like continuation of the combo. I kind of, bah! I like it. I like it. He's actually like thinking with him. Oh, he's pretty dope. I would never try to charge preemptively to do this. Even though your opponent has to guess which one, I just wouldn't do it. Like nine times, nah, eight times out of 10, I wouldn't do it. Cause it just doesn't, it just doesn't seem like the, the perfect go-to, right? And I was wrong. This is not, uh, this is not. Seth stage. This is the stage from Street Fighter V, the Shadowloo stage. Uh, I, I did not realize. So the boosted version of this attack will pull up on the you, give you a chance to smash your face in. If they block it, you get to move first, so you get a chance. Cool. So you can keep up the pressure. You probably set up some more counter play. You while you're charging up, you can also opt for a kill rush instead, keeping mixing. Oh, so the kill rush comes from the flicker flicker cancel. Uh, shoots out straight like the light version, but features long, but features longer range. Wait, this version of flicker will pull in the opponents immediately, and yup, hit them with it, and yup, hit them with it, and you can follow up with another attack. Oh, and you're at advantage even if. It's wrong. The only downside is that you can't go into the charge stance or faint with this version. Ah. Mm. Kill rush, forward and back. A technique that allows you to quickly move forward to different types of attacks are possible. Oh, you can just do it! You can just do it! You can just do it! That's what I was hoping for. Just to see if you could just do raw kill rush. During the technique, which are timing dependent. Perform a bob and weave while taking a step back, useful for helping to create distance from the opponent while analyzing the situation. Does this go under fireballs? That's what I know, through fireballs. Kill rush forward is effective when you need to close the gap, backward is version of creating space, all that while not leaving you open to the attack. Okay, to attack. During kill rush forward, you got two attack options, both the same input, but different timings. Uh, get the input in during the first half of Kill Rush or for Kill so kill Rush Switch or come on, Kill Switch Break, Kill Rush, Kill Switch Break or do it in the latter half to bust out Kill, kill Switch Chaser. That's, that's that break. What's the, th what's the point? Either attack will leave you open to a counter so keep this one in a pocket and so you can use it in a, use it to end a combo. Oh, okay, I get it. So it's like delaying a special move. So they have to guess. They could either guess if you're going to attack, and if you're going to attack, are you going to attack early or are you going to attack late? And they can just they. I don't know. It seems like the enemy's best choice is to block it. But if you get in with kill rush, you could just grab. So it's it's something. It's like a it's RPSG, right? Rock paper. No, it's RPSS. No, no, rock RPS. G rock paper scissors gun. I think that's what it is. So you like you got you have empty, you have empty, immediate, delay, and then grab. So that's that's pretty cool. That's cool. It is RPS, so you could empty. Well, no, I don't think empty counts. So it still be RPS situation. Okay. RPS approach is kind of cool. Either a tap or leave you open to a counter. So keep this one poke in the pocket until you. Need it. What did he just do? Oh, he, he ended it with the, uh, the flicker. Special move. Cycle Storm. Look at that costume, but that's, that's just fire. And he actually stole uh, Ken's Street Fighter V costume. That's why he's got a, that's why he's got those leggings in. 
unleashes a series of high speed flicker jabs. Psych Cycle Storm, leading the light is so cloaked in psycho power. Useful as a combo ender or as a counter attack by using its invisibility design. This must be the first super. <laughs> Oh, he's going in a full ground in the background. Great reach, nice com combo ability. You know, on top of that, this attack is invincible to everything except projectiles. Don't be shy about being a jerk with it. Keep your finger on the trigger and blast them when you have a chance. He gets up, comes back. His level one is invincible. Love that. Appreciate that when you go for it, you know it's gonna hit. Miss with this and you're gonna regret it. So you can you can bait out D D uh DIs with it in a way. Psycho cannon. Greenery is a ball of psycho power, thin sense of the point. Charging, charging, charging while he's doing it. So he knew it was gonna wait. Wait, did he jump before that? So it automatically sends him in the air. Automatically sends him in the air. He just got hit raw. This cannon's got some juice and it goes for a while if it can make. I'm pretty sure it goes on full screen if I'm correct. And you got yourself an open innovation to a combo to your liking. And even if the opponent blocks it, you're still in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yo. Cross up? Cross up potential? Hey yo, blocking both sides? We like it, we love to see it, we love to see it. I would not use that in the corner. Like, unless you can like hit him with a low overhead, you can mix in low overhead, if you could. If he has a command normal for an overhead, hey yo, hey yo. Block stream about to, block, block pressure about to go crazy? What's more, the speed of the projectile changes depending on the button pressed from far using the light version, at least a slow moving projectile in it. Allowing it to lean, allow, following it is a game plan that I like to lean on. You pull a guile if you would. As a boxer, pulling a guile is kind of crazy. This bo guile is a kickboxer. <laughs> you know it'd be crazy if, if you were able to time it to a certain point, like they jumped in, you used it, but they were actually still over it and you pushed them back into it and then you charge a flicker jab and it got, yo, combo theories, man. And here's the last one, Psycho Chamber. Ties together the feet and hands of the opponent before delivering a series of powerful shots all over their body, a versatile move that I was not finished reading that. That can counter projectiles being used in combos and can turn the tables when, when under pressure. This is the most dangerous weapon. Your arsenal it comes with, with a high attack power and visibility, but leaves you defenseless if it doesn't even use any power. Combos are open to punish one when they're open wide open. When they're wide open, gotcha. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Critical art version looks way better than the original version. Original version just looks like a Street Fighter V kind of like ending, I'm not gonna lie. So Street Fighter V kind of super. Look at this, hey, look at this outro. That is dope. Oh, why are you standing like that? Uh, looking at, anyways, uh, fire. I'm lit, I'm lit. The Game Awards, best fighting game. That's right, you put that on there. You gloat, that's what we do, we gloat. So, um, Overall, uh, he looks really nice. Uh, I don't know if he's actually going to like. I, I I'm I'm really excited to play him. Uh, I don't know uh, if he's actually going to pull me away from Asuka. If the character is that fun that I stop playing Asuka, that's how you know he's a good character. Because I'm super excited to learn how to get better with Asuka. Like one of the most complicated characters in Guilty Gear. I, I'm super excited for that. But if he's just that fun to play. I don't know what to tell you. Anywho, we've gone on for long enough. It's been 30 minutes. So I will catch you guys in the next one. And I hope you all take care. And buy Street Fighter if you haven't. You have it. Like, play the game. The game's fun and everything. So I will catch you guys later. And you all have a good day.